Hello once again and welcome back to the 50th episode of Father and Sundays, the unexplainable guide to absolutely nothing. 50, 50, 50, 50. <laughs> and this episode is called the 50th episode. Very creative. 50, 50, 50, 50. Stick around if you want to hear more. Hi there, how are you? Hi, uh, yeah, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Yes, I'm good, thank you. Well, that's the end of the podcast. Thank you very much for listening. What's your name? What's my name? My name's David. Oh my god, I feel like I've, I feel like I've met you before because um, yes, I feel like this we've we've done fifty episodes together. This is our fiftieth. This is our fiftieth. Yeah. Wow, we've known each other a long time. Then we have known each other a long time. Um, the I mean the chemistry. Uh, um, Do you want to give, give that another go? Yeah. Okay. Start again. Go. The chemistry <laughs> has been a bit sort of volatile at times, but uh, I feel like we're sort of becoming a little bit more sort of acquainted, a little bit more comfortable with each other. Yeah. I've even started to call you father. Ah, oh. well, well, that's good. For that's father good. and son days. 50 episodes, 50 Connor. Episodes, yeah. My name's Connor, by the way. Oh, hello, Connor. <laughs> yeah, 50 episodes. Like. 50 episodes. Can you Adam and Eve it? I cannot Adam and Eve it. Um, I didn't think, to be honest, when we started all this, I didn't think it would carry on for as long as it has done. Not because I thought that we wouldn't enjoy it, but just because I thought we'd probably do it during the lockdown, which is when we started it. And then, you know, perhaps it will just peter out. Who's but, Peter? Yeah, uh, Peter <laughs> over and out. Um, no, you know. You, well, I think this is the thing. It, it became hard. It did become harder once things lockdowns finished. We didn't hit it because we the have first things lockdown. to do now. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas it, we, we, you know, most Saturday nights it took us a few lockdowns to get there, though. Oh, it did. It's the it third did lockdown. Yeah, we? no. And let's face it, it's still not. We're still not chock a block with our appointments, are we? Let's face it. No. No. But it's it, you know, <laughs> it's, it it has been an experience, and it has uh, it has been enjoyable. I, I I can't say. There's been times when I thought, wow, we've got a lot to do, or we've we've you know we're running out of time to actually recall one because of other things we're doing and that. But you know, ninety nine point nine percent of the time, I I have enjoyed doing what we've been doing. Whether anybody else has. Remains to be seen, but I certainly have had a blast. This this episode, um, aptly named the 50th episode, episode 50, mm-hmm. the big thing is it's the 50th episode. Um, we it's, it's not a best of. No. I'm not going to do that to you people because you don't want to have to li- listen to the same things again. And it would be a very short episode. <laughs> it would be a very short episode. We've pretty much put it all in the advert. Yeah. Um, anyway, though, but this episode more talking about a bit like our experience and as of doing it so far yeah and and such now favorite bits so far and also um this i did i didn't think fully of what i was going to say when i started speaking then that was quite obvious yeah yeah no look i mean i knew nothing really about i did listen to podcasts when you first suggested this to me i had listened to podcasts back all the way in january 2021 yeah but i hadn't really uh sort of got my head around what it takes to actually do it i think for a number of years to be fair ever since listening to adam and joe back when when i was in secondary school i remember saying to you i wish to do a podcast wish to do a podcast almost jokingly and then it actually came to a point in january last year where i kind of went we should do a podcast no we actually should do a podcast like there's no reason why we can't and we shouldn't do you know what I mean? Yeah, but I, I mean, I guess when you first asked me this, I was a little bit reluctant. One, because it might not appear so, but I was fairly, you know, shy about doing it. And actually thought, what on earth have I got to say that anybody would find entertaining? And I was very right. <laughs> I was 100% <laughs> right on that. Yeah. But it was, it, it was kind of like, well, yeah, but why would people listen to it? And then I listened to other podcasts and... You know, I think, why am I listening to this podcast? You know, no, there's there's lots of podcasts and there's lots of podcasts about specific subjects. And it's not, you know, uh, there's comedy ones and there's, there's factual ones, but there's a, there's a lot of different stuff and there's something out there for everybody. 
I don't think we've tried to do anything in particular. No, there's certain rules they suggest when setting up a podcast. One, have a niche. We didn't do that. We didn't do that. No. no. And, a, and a subject and like try and stick to... Because you'll gain an audience by talking about a certain thing. Uh, we never really did it in the sense that we want to build like this huge audience. We did it in the sense that we wanted to have fun and have a laugh. Well, let's and face it. We recorded the first couple without even putting them out. Um we we actually tried it out, didn't we? I mean, yeah, we did yeah, that. Yeah. We, uh, it, it takes a little bit of time to get sort of a rhythm going with these things, and and we've got a sort of format now. Yeah, uh, it's a very loose format, and it's yes, made it up pretty much on the spot. But it is a format, uh, and it and it has worked okay for us across all of these. So, but you know, at first, very yeah. different at the beginning though. It's one that's evolved as time's gone by. So we started off with like going right we're going to do two 15 minute bits at the beginning and then a advert and then we'll go into like a 20 minute game at the end and then we'll close it out and we're still kind of stuck so you can still kind of listen to each podcast and go that's kind of how it flows there's approximately 15 minutes then we throw in something new now though we've got a little segment that goes in there whether it be a two minute debate of what's got you go um a Fact check. Fact check. And also the... Things that happened in the past. (laughs) What's it called? Uh, Uh, Things you didn't know that happened a long long time time ago. ago. One of the longest at that time. (laughs) (laughs) And maybe some different things in this episode. You might hear some familiar voices and some familiar or not so familiar voices. But anyway. uh, But when you think about... We changed it up as, as we've gone on. We still kind of stick to the similar kind of thing, but... Yeah, I've got. I've become far more improved. self-indulgent with the music. Yeah, uh, you have. because it started off being very quick little stupid things, and now it's very in long, elongated stupid things. Well, the only thing we used to write for each episode, as in like music-wise, would be the advert, mm-hmm. and that was it. Mm-hmm. Now we've got an advert, a sting, and then quite often multiple other stings throughout the podcast. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. Well, you know, it's it gives me something to do, doesn't it? Yeah. What would I do otherwise? Just you do say, sitting. you do complain, and go, oh, I've got to write this, I've got to write this, I've got to write this. But, um, yeah. Yeah, no, I, 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 get, create work I for know yourself. that. I do create a lot of work for myself, but, you know, I enjoy it too. Father and Son's 50th episode. I absolutely love all the podcasts because they always give me a laugh when I'm feeling a bit down and I feel as if they're in the room with me. 50. 50. Good evening. My name is Brad the Inhaler. I've been told that my blood brothers over at Father and Sundays are celebrating their 50th episode. I'd like to say congratulations. I'm batsy about your podcast. Ha ha ha. Just a little vampire joke. 50. 50. 50. Hello, and my name is that guy from the musical episode. You know, the one that goes, Is that my takeaway? Well, I've heard it's their 50th episode, so I just want to say, Wow, I cannot believe they made it to 50 episodes because of how utterly exhausting the first 15 were by the time we got up to musicals. Anyway, Stick around if you want it more, I guess. Bye. 50. So 50 episodes now. I don't think we've mentioned it yet on this podcast. And also, uh, that's almost a year. Getting on for a year will be very soon in February. Yeah. There's been a lot of highs, a lot of lows. But what's been your favourite? What's been my favourite episode? Favourite episode, favourite moment. Um, I mean, you've listened to them all. <laughs> I do listen to them all, yeah, because I have to do my fact checks. Now, now I, I listen to them back to sort of sense check them uh, because when you do all the editing, I don't, you know, it could easily be, it doesn't happen actually, but it could easily be something, the music's things, not on things it or whatever. Things sometimes slip through when I do my edit yeah, because yeah. I do it fairly quick yeah. and I flick through the entire podcast, but... Yeah, no, right, exactly. No, I think... Trying to keep mental notes of what happens rather than actually go through it all. I think particularly... I don't know. I like, I liked the ones where we. Um, I mean, not a lot of it's planned. I know I write the quizzes out and all the rest of it, but not a lot of it's 
uh, script. It's not really. It's not scripted. So I like. Well, it. Well, I don't mean to sound funny. You can tell when something's been scripted. It's normally by dad, and you can tell when he's scripted something. Oh yeah, probably, he reads yeah. it very differently. Like, yeah, I read it very differently. Like I'm um, you know, auditioning for something, um, but. I like it. I like to laugh in in general in life. I like to laugh, and there's been moments. One particular moment is, uh, I was the pets episode. Yeah, and we we got to the to the sort of second half of the pets episode where we were interviewing the pets. Now I had no idea what was going to be said. I had no idea uh, what was happening. Really, generally, what was happening. Yeah. Um, I don't think I've laughed so much for a long, long time. As no, I did our animals are funny, aren't they? They are hilariously funny. Yeah. Um, and I had a lot of fun with that. That was that was great. And that was, you know, it was a bit impromptu and, and, and other things. I mean, I quite like the creative thing. So we had a books episode where we had to write a short story. Oh, yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? And you wrote several Short stories, very short stories. One yeah, I wrote of very, very short because I didn't want to. I didn't have which one. is something I'd like to go back to again and give it another go on. Yeah. A, perhaps a different genre, of a different book. kind of topic, but another yeah. thing that we can get creative with. So I quite like that in episodes. We had, uh, I guess, I guess the one that stands out the most would be the musicals one because quite early it was on, very different, and it? that shows you we thought, oh, fifteen episodes. That's quite a. Big number. Significant number to hit 15. Let's do something special. So we wrote a musical. Um, Makes you think maybe we should have done something a bit more special for this one. Yeah, well, I can't be bothered with that. Yeah. <laughs> we, we went through a lot of a stress lot, There was a lot of pain. That episode 15 that, yeah. done. Not as much pain as listening to we it. Actually, but a lot of we pain. actually almost stopped doing the podcast after that episode because it was so much like by the time it got to it, there was so much pressure we put on ourselves and so much stress around it that we kind of went I don't know if we could do this again we decided that if we're going to do another big episode we decide weeks in advance yeah and we prep weeks in advance yeah and we let we release some smaller episodes beforehand and since then we've that's that's kind of changed how we do things we do prep things really far in advance now like as in we normally plan out four podcasts to six podcasts at a time well when you say we plan them out we get the titles from them we yeah, but then that, <laughs> but what well, when but, you come up with a title, when we sit there and brainstorm these titles, we often think about what ideas we can say yeah, no, to go no, along true. with those. But that's about uh, it. <laughs> yeah, at that stage. Yeah, uh, but yeah, but my point being is, we think about. It. I mean, we haven't planned out the next episode just yet. No, this could uh, be interesting. We were thinking so much about all the last bit, few. But it's all going to be about quality now. Yeah. So look, that they are some highlights of those particular. What about you? Well, I, I. I be perfectly honest, perfectly clear, I have not listened to an entire episode all the way through. This is going to be uh, problematic, I feel. Do you reckon? Yeah. Especially um, when we get to the quiz. That's not because I don't enjoy it. That's because I did it. I know, what, I know what happens. Oh, you're one of them sort of people. Right, I've done that. Bang. No, 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 no. So the thing is, my intention was, is I don't want to listen to them as soon as they come out. Because I literally just did them. My intention is to wait a while and then listen to them. Like, I might start listening to the first few episodes now because it's been a year. Yeah. And I might start flicking through like that because it's almost like a, a, a library of what we've done. You had a, you were a lot higher, your voice. Back yeah, then. yeah, yeah. Stick around if you want to hear more. Yep, that's what yep. it used to sound like. Um, but yeah, so... I, I haven't listened to a full episode of Way Through. I have listened. Actually, that's probably a lie because I've sat in the car whilst you've been playing them and I've been in the kitchen whilst bits of them playing, but potentially not the whole episode. Uh, but some of my earlier ones that really stuck out and made me laugh are some of them, my favourites, such as it probably as a whole wasn't one of the best episodes because it was so early on, but Bigfoot. Oh, and yeah, I, yeah. I bring it up good, quite man. a lot mm-hmm. because the thing, the little facts you came out with really made me laugh in that. Like... If you want to calm Bigfoot down, you need to have a Kit Kat, and you, uh, if you, you, something happens, it'll punch you in the face. Or, if you cry, if you show yeah, emotion cry. in front of a Bigfoot, it, it confuses it and he punches you in the face. We've yeah. learnt a lot, have we? I'll tell you what. Um, I would never say I this could, is a factual educational no, podcast. I'm telling you now. I went, you know, I went to uh, like infant, junior school, uh, comprehensive. I've been to college. I've studied languages, forgotten all that, right? Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, 
all the stuff that I don't really retain information. So all the stuff I've looked up, and I've spent ages over these podcasts pouring through like detailed information on particular subject matters, as you can tell yeah. if you listen to them. And, uh, you know, drilling down into websites to get, you know, get to the real heart of these things. It all goes out of it. There's only certain things I remember. Yeah. It's yeah, terrible. It's, it's, it's crazy. And there's there's also things that really been great ideas that never worked out quite so well. Like, for example, the magic episode. Great ideas about doing a magic show on a podcast, but no one can see it. I think we kind of enjoyed it. But something about that day when we recorded it didn't come out quite as good as all the others. Well, I've got to get, I've still got that sack and the rope in the back of my car. Yeah, I've got to get rid of that because if I get Genu- pulled over... You genuinely went inside a sack on that episode as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. Um, but... But our method, like, me. Yeah, but with that, with that particular podcast, that was funny, and um, that was when the the eleven of diamonds. We actually, funny speaking, the eleven of diamonds didn't come up in that episode, um, but I think it was a later episode where we called back to it. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but that's where the eleven of diamonds came about, um, which I found funny. I don't know if anyone else has, but I found it funny, and it's just little bits like that that crop up. Also, the Chuck Feces thing in um, the. Oh, solar, solar system, system yeah. Solar yeah. system episode, yeah. Yeah. The Chuck Feces really made me laugh. Is it terrible that like, I sit there and write these things down and I laugh? Well, I can tell because then you read them out and you laugh as well. Yeah, I know, I know, that's, that's awful, isn't it? No. Is it awful? You're enjoying it, though. I'm that's a, the whole point of this podcast. It's not like I think I'm funny. It's just that uh, stupid things make me laugh. That's that's the whole, you know, I've always been There's like that. There's a whole that, point of this honest. podcast, Dad. Don't, stupid things. Don't, don't make fun of it. Okay. Father and Son's 50th episode. Oh, it's my turn now. <laughs> Hello, this is Bilbo. Uh, yes, this is my favourite podcast. The best podcast ever. Oh, I hope you enjoy as much as I do. They're my favourites. Okay, now. Oh, there's a ball. Oh, bye, bye, bye. 50. Hi, father and son. Um, Can't believe we're on the 50th episode uh your podcast has certainly kept me i'm not going to say sane um but it's te- definitely kept me going um throughout lockdowns and covids and times of uncertainty um especially being so far away from you guys it's been nice uh, it's almost felt like i've had you both in the room um just having a laugh and a joke and i do find myself sort of talking along with you and answering back or answering your questions and stuff so can't wait to see what you've got planned for the next 50 um and just keep doing what you're doing well done loved it 50 oh what a waste of time i could be sleeping not talking about these two losers 50 well i've um i've spoken about there has also been some struggles such as the musicals episode and also the magic episode where we had to come up with a magic trick and do it and stuff is there anything that's really been a bit more of a tough one for you uh there has i mean uh what made me laugh about the magic episode is i think someone actually commented to me about it being a bit lackluster <laughs> Which is, that. which is the first critique I think we had properly on this, well, that people told us about. But yes, no, the one that sticks out for me is uh, I, and this is, this shows you, right, you could have an idea and you can have it in your head and you think, this is going to be amazing. This is going to be top notch. It's going to go really well. Nothing can go wrong. The murder mystery one i had such high hopes for that i could not i kept banging on at you and saying you did. You we've were... got to do this because this is going to be really good wow how complicated did that get it did right? get very complicated because not only did you know not know what was going on I was having to make up things. I hadn't really thought it through. So You thought about what kind of questions I would ask and I didn't ask those questions. No, and not only did I have to keep thinking about all the characters that I was supposed to be, but then also I had to keep changing what was going on. You and think very about, uncomfortable oh, in the God. episode. Yes, yeah, I know I did, which I did deliberately, obviously. But, but I mean, I enjoyed it. Uh, it took a hell of a lot of editing because I think it was a really long episode in the end. Yeah, well. we actually um, un- 
not to our own thing, but we used to be quite restricted on how long the episodes could be and how long our uploads could be, how big they could be. Yeah. Um, that has now increased, hence the reason we've done a couple of, we're not planning to do loads of longer episodes, but we've done a couple of longer episodes recently for the Christmas and, yeah. and New Year's because we felt it was relevant to do so. Uh, but at the time, it was, it was, I think it was actually like an hour and six minutes and however many seconds was our limit. Mm. And that well, even our technology went way has, over it. You know, we've we managed to update our to- technology to do this, which has enabled us to have a bit more flexibility in what we do. Mm-hmm. So, and, and we know, and we've mentioned this before, we've started off in different rooms, me oh, laying on goodness. the floor, you with a sock over the microphone. Well, even you... that was a bit later. That was that was a technology improvement at that point. <laughs> yeah. When we first started, we um, we if we were in the same room together, mm. our mics would pick up each other because we didn't have particularly good mics at the time. You and were using we a are... pair of you were wearing a pair of Bluetooth headphones, I and was. I was wearing a a gaming headset, which mm-hmm. is built to talk to people on games, not really about recording. And, uh, and we worked out the best way to do it would be to do a call in different rooms. And I remember we used to do, because we're on video calls as well, we used to do hand signals. Uh, like, I'm done talking now, you can start talking. Because there was a delay and we'd end up talking over each other. Then it would other. freeze. Yeah, and it freeze. But the delay, when you listen to them back, and that's sort of something, if you do listen, you will hear that delay. And it's, it's really strange sometimes. Which does make me think, if someone was to come into the podcast now, had if, if they start right at the beginning... There's a chance they won't carry on because it come was, at any point there's a chance. I won't yeah, carry that's true. On. But you just listen to that and go, I don't know if I can listen to this. But luckily, it only goes up to about I think episode nine is when we filmed. It seemed like an age at that time, but yeah. then we. Sort of, I mean, I guess sort of, it was a couple months. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. About, about episode nine, we uh, we upgraded mics, and that's when I had the sock over my microphone. Yeah. Um, and even then, we only had one new mic. We had one of your older mics, but we were able to plug it into the audio interface that we got. Uh, now we've got matching mics to make us sound even more similar, like levels on the... Yeah. On the no, um, it makes it a little bit I was about to say to on do. the call there, but this isn't the call anymore, no, it is it? Isn't. No, look, here we are. Look, there. And now, moved into a new bedroom yeah. where we've actually got space. You've actually got a proper little armchair. I've got a desk, an office chair and uh, plenty of space in this room. Got a few signs. Yeah, got a number Stop of signs. Stop people barging Thank you in on us. Very much, by the way, for uh, those well, signs. With cups of tea, like we're ever going to get that. Um, yes, no, it is. It's, got a shrine. It's it's almost like uh, it's almost professional. Almost. Yeah, the technology is anyway. It's a pity everything else isn't. <laughs> to be fair, this is all one big excuse for me to buy loads of tech. I love it. I don't doubt that f- for one minute. That's the case. It doesn't. It look cool though, just sitting on the desk. It does. It does look really good. But yes. So yeah, yeah. I mean, going back to that, that was that was a bit of a uh, uh, an event. That one. I mean, uh, it, uh, it, it, it took a lot of planning. And then I realised, really, there was no planning at all. I forgot all. we were talking about the murder mystery. <laughs> no, yeah, we are talking about it. But, you know, you, the, this is the thing. When you're doing it every week... We were in a room together at that point, though. We were. But when you're doing it every week and you've got to come up with a topic every week and, all right, we've... I've sort of, with the music and everything else, but every week coming up with something different, even to the point where we had a laugh the other day when I thought, oh, I've got a really good idea for a song... And when I started playing it, I realised it was something I'd already written. <laughs> yeah, you did. I said, <laughs> just stick familiar. with it. I said, just stick with it. Because, no, I didn't. <laughs> uh, because you still wrote it. It's not like you're playing Yeah, but anything. yeah, yeah, I know. But it just like, it's, there's only so much, you know, and you, and you have to keep figuring up new things all the time. But we will continue to do that. Are we going to continue? Um, we haven't had this discussion. No. I'm going to go over yes. Are you? Yeah. How about so, you? So, well, yeah, as long as, yeah, as long as the pay is okay. Uh, um, yeah. Hmm. Yes. I I haven't been paid for this. Have you not? No, oh, so dear. you're not getting paid either. Oh, right, okay. No, as long as we can come up with uh, new ideas and, and bits and pieces to do, you know, it's it, it, I do enjoy it. It's been a, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, I'm at and, a loss uh, so far on this. It's <laughs> been an honour to an work honor? with you this long. Wow. I'm not asking you to be a groomsman or anything. No? <laughs> no. Oh, right. Okay. Um, but yeah, it, it has been a lot of fun. We'll continue having fun whilst doing it. Yeah. Yes, we will. And it's been interesting to see 
it sort of expands somewhat as well. Um, one thing we laugh about quite often about is the fact that there's people listening to it around the world, which we I st- I will never get my head around hmm. how someone in even if it's just one episode, it's still Ecuador pretty. has listened to an episode of our podcast. Mm. Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> why, 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 why? There's why? so many crazy things in Ecuador, like the fact that it's on the equator. Yeah. And if you go in the middle, like water So why spins, would you be listening to podcasts? Why would you when listen you to live- podcasts where you could spin water in a bowl and see which way it goes? Absolutely. And a plug. Yeah. You spend all your time doing that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it wouldn't be interesting in a podcast, me. No? No. Father and Son's 50th episode. Yeah, but how do I say it? Do I just say... Start with the word I. <laughs> do I just go, I'm Becky. I'm Becky. Hey, it's Becky, and you're listening to Father Becky and Son Dates. <laughs> Hi, it's Becky. Hi, Becky. <laughs> Is this thing on? <laughs> wow, episode 50. Oh, congratulations. It's great. <laughs> that's it that's it <laughs> 50 50 50 50 <laughs> podcast fish it's bye 50 be it a Sunday or a Monday Sam listens to Father and Sundays all week long Congratulations. 50. 50. 50. Let's bring up the number 50 again, shall we? Well, yeah, because it's like the uh, 50th birthday of our podcast. No, it's not. Well, it is. It's, it's the 50th 50. episode. We've had this yeah, discussion, but, Dad. We've had this discussion. Yeah, but it is, Earlier on in the week, you were saying it's our 50th anniversary. It is not. Do you know what anniversary means? Yeah, but it's like... Annual. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because people have their three month anniversary when they've been going out with people for three months. That's just because it's a weird thing that they've decided to celebrate. Oh, right. Anniversary is like a year. Is it? Yeah. But is it? Yeah. But it, but is it? Yeah. <laughs> I thought anniversary yeah, was just anniversary. I thought anniversary was just, I might have to look it up. Anniversary is just a, um, a celebration of a repeat of something. No, hang on, that doesn't sound right in my head even then. Did I say that out loud? You yes, did, I did, yeah. I did, yeah. Well, I just thought anniversary is an anniversary. Well, it even if it, even what, if it what wasn't, amount of even years, it wasn't, months, if you say this hours. Is, right, even if it wasn't, and you said this is our 50th anniversary, it does sound like years. Okay. Right, so 50 episodes, 50, 50, 50, right. Do you know the who muffin, else man? is celebrating uh, their 50th birthday this year? <laughs> We're not celebrating our 50th birthday. We have to, otherwise this is going to be ridiculous. <laughs> right. Okay. So let's fast forward 50 years. So how old am I? 73. How right. old are you? Uh, 100. 103. Three. So do the voice, please. Um, what if I, what I sound like when I'm 103? Yeah, you've got No, no, I'm not pitch. doing that, no. Right. Are you just going to um, sound I'm same? on hormones, so I'll be sounding exactly like I do now. Um, what did you know... <laughs> I, I looked at these and I can't believe some of these people are actually only 50. I can't believe it's not butter. No? I can't believe it's not better. <laughs> um, Idris Elba. 50 years old. 50 years old. Am I going to guess these ages? Year. Yeah, see if you can guess these. <laughs> yeah. Jude Law. 49 at the moment. Dumbledore. 50 this year. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know what that laugh was. Um, <laughs> weirdly, because uh, they were married to each other, Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck. <laughs> Why is that weird? Because Cause they were both the same age. Oh, interesting. That happens quite a lot. Only the people that go to school together. Not people that meet when they're like later on in life, surely. So, hang on. So you, I mean, it's difficult because you've not dated anyone for a long time. But they're still quite common, I okay. think. Dwayne Johnson. Yeah. How was he going to be? 50. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> um, Sonia Vergara. Who's that? Uh, she's the one from Modern Family. Which? Oh, the one that's one married supposed to, to be Colombian, but yeah. she's, I, I don't know, she might be Colombian. She I might. think it is Colombia. Right. Cameron Diaz. 
Which one's that? Uh, Recognise the name. Can't picture it for some reason. Can't picture it. <laughs> Cameron yeah. Diaz was in Charlie's Angels. She was in uh, something about Mary. Yeah, I think I, I got the one from Charlie's Angels. Don't know what something about Mary is though. Right. Okay. Um, She's probably been in stuff that's been more highbrow than I've just said there, but never mind. Gwyneth Paltrow. I'm aware of her. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Didn't she make a candle? She did. And yep. she's making apparently a celebratory 50th one as well. Oh. <laughs> and the other person. Google who the candle. I cannot believe this person is 50. M&M's. M&M. 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 Yeah. Eminem. 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 That's what I said. Eminem. 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 No, now I'm saying it wrong. Enema. Eminem. No. What is his name? Eminem. Eminem. He's 50. Can you believe he's 50 like we are? I'm not 50. Oh, what's the point? You're 53. I am 53. I'm nearer to the same age as our podcast. Not 51. No, I'm not 51, like you said in the previous podcast. That's nice, isn't it? When you can't even remember how old I am. Yes. So it's. I I feel like the whole of this year is going to be a celebration of this 50th episode anniversary birthday. Wow. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Because there's so many high profile people that are being the same boat as but us. There's, we've got the potential of hitting like 80 episodes this year or 90 episodes this year. Yet you're going to celebrate the fact that this whole year is going to be our 50th episode. Unless we well, don't make any more episodes this year. Well, presumably. Oh, no, this we ain't going to make 100 this year, though, are we? Because no. if, unless we do some sort of midweek versions, oh. which it's bad enough trying to do it weekly, let alone midweek. I might have to do a quick calculation before the next section, but. Um Actually, we might hit 50, like, right at the end of the year. Wow. I'll can, work it out. And I'll have to go through celebrities that are 100. <laughs> <laughs> so That should be a lot easier. It could be, yeah. I might only have one name, if that. <laughs> Father and Son's 50th episode. Hi, it's Al here. Congratulations on making it to 2022. The bits of the podcast I've been awake for have been great to listen to. Can't wait to be a guest on a future episode in the future. 50. 50. 50. Hello? Hello, is this thing on? Hello, my name's Ezreal and this is my friend. Hello, how did you? Yeah, we're big fans of the podcast. We've even been brought all the way upstairs to record a thing for it. Um... Yes, it's a bit difficult to hear underwater, but it's very, very good. Yes, we love it very much. 50. 50. 50. So in true Father and Sunday's fashion, there's a song, is there not? There is a song. Yes, I don't know. (laughs) The way would you do that? I don't know. I don't know why. Do it again. There is a song. That's different to how you did it. How you did it before? No. Yeah, I've (laughs) written another song. Uh, it might sound familiar to you. <laughs> Probably <laughs> written it about five or six times before. Uh, yeah, I've written a song. It's the same as Anushiku. Oh, don't. It's it's uh, it's uh, I do. I am so sorry about all this. Uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, You're sorry. Yeah, you just keep on it's, doing it. It's it's uh, new from my new studio, just across the way there, where which is the old podcast studio. Um, it's uh, fresh from there, uh, freshly recorded. Uh, I hope you enjoy. When did you record it? Uh, last night. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, we'll see how it's uh, fared over the day. Yep. We 
try to blow the clouds away But some might say We are a clueless band There's a myriad of listeners Not just brothers and our sisters Who'd have guessed Are you a little bit impressed From the US to Rwanda From Poland to Uganda They're on board And probably quite flawed But we love talking nonsense About anything We don't care We try to blow the clouds away But some might say We are a clueless pair It might be all the banter or when father starts to rant But who's to know? We'll give anything a go So why not take a leap? There's a podcast every week if you're not sure You could ask a fan in Ecuador But we love talking nonsense About anything We don't care We try to blow the clouds away But some might say We are a clueless pair What's an amazing song? It hasn't aged very well, has it? No. It's so last week. I especially like the bit about Ecuador. Oh, you did, did you? Yes. Oh, right. Okay. Yes. Okay. And also the bit about our podcast. Yes, it was It was all about that, yeah. It was all about our podcast. Yeah, I'm glad you listened correctly listen on it. Yeah. Correctly. Okay. So, you know, like everything else, that's gone now. That's in the past. What is? Let's look to that song. Oh, Let's look to the future. It was always in the past, wasn't it? What should we do now? What is it that we normally do after we've played a song or an advert in the middle of our podcast? Go for it. What? We go for it? No, I thought you were going to play the sting. Oh, you mean the game time sting? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Woohoo! It's game time. Okay. Right. So... Have you prepared the game this week? I've prepared the game like I do most weeks. Yep. Um, Only if you listen to earlier podcasts. It's, yeah, it's you did a few then, but it caused a lot of arguments. Uh, it did actually, didn't it? It did. We used to argue a lot about stuff. About you used moths to come and up, orangutans. You used to come up with some absolute nonsense. What? And you don't? No, well, I, I come up with uh, actual factual stuff. <laughs> My one was who would win in a fight between like different animals. Yeah, but, yeah, but I... I cannot stress this enough because even if I hear it now or think about <laughs> it, it really, really annoys me. But I spoke to you. I, I don't know why I'm talking about this now, but I'm going to get it off my chest, right? You said what would win between a Jaguar and, I don't know, I think it was an armadillo or something like that. And I said, no, 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 it wasn't that one that really annoyed me. It was the golden retriever and something else. And I said, is it a proper dog? You said yes. I said it's a golden retriever. It's an actual real dog, right? It's not anything. You said yes, and then when you came out with the result, you said the golden retriever will win because it's gold, made of gold. No, that's why I get annoyed with you because I check with you beforehand, and you still go off on a. I don't think I went. No, it's I went. It's a golden retriever. You said, is it a golden retriever? I went, it's a golden retriever. Well, it's it's there for people to listen to. Did they also make one about the other one being in space? The Golden Retriever being in space. Maybe. Because we had the space episode. Yeah, where there's Golden a Retriever lot of dead animals floating yeah. about up there. Anyway, look, well, I know wow, that, that you might heated. <laughs> you might say that you don't take any notice of what we do or listen to them back, 
but I'm hoping you have remembered something because my quiz this week is all about our previous podcasts. We've done so many quizzes that the word quiz sounds weird and funny now. Okay. Quiz. Quiz. Don't you think? Well, with that in mind, play my quiz sting. Quiz. It's the 50th episode, you know what that means. A special quiz for Connor and another sting for me. What a well, reaction to that sting. It's get, becoming more and more like that every time I release something. Every time we walk into the streets. Yeah. Have you had anyone recognise you yet? No. Oh. Have what? you heard anyone uh, play our podcast? Yes, I have. I've had people, I've heard someone, yeah, you know that. Bizarrely, someone drove past me and was, I was just waiting in traffic and I could hear your voice <laughs> on, the, on, their, uh, on this, obviously on the... I've, um, I actually, today... We we've have had an advert go out just to try and get people to I don't know listen I don't know but we put together a clip kind of a, uh, advert thing and uh, that popped up on my Instagram today as I was flicking through. Anyway, yeah. carry on. Okay, quiz. So quiz. So I've got ten questions for you. Ten. There's you're a starting few, to pick nice round ten a few numbers. Bonus now. sort ten of numbers. little treats for you in amongst it as well. But it's really going to start to. Uh, see how much you really have invested into this podcast. Apart from financially. Not financially, right, okay. emotionally. Okay. Right. Question one. In the Oceans episode, we not only bump into the legend of the Seven Seas, Ooh, Barnacle Barry, but we also meet his wife. But what is her name? Uh, Cindy Starfish. Oh, is that your final answer? Yes, it is. All oh, right, I thought you'd have got from the fact oh, I went. Oh. Sorry, Cindy, <laughs> uh, Sandra Starfish, Sandra Starfish. Oh, uh, Deb, Deb, Deborah, De- no. Debris. <laughs> no, no, no. The answer, in fact, is Starfish Sally. Starfish Sally, I do it. Starfish in it, but you didn't. Uh, you didn't see her because she was in the hold. Barnacle Barry, Starfish Sally. Yeah, makes sense. In the entire time we were having a conversation with Barnacle Barry, she was in the hold. So you didn't actually see her. I thought right. I was going to get a reaction from that, but I didn't. Oh, sorry. Oh. What reaction did you want? The fact I said hold. Oh, not hull. Hold. 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 Yeah, see, this is the same hold. <laughs> hold. <laughs> we had that argument last time. Anyway, question two. In the song featured in the Body podcast, oh, excellent. where did our protagonist leave the hands and feet of his beloved? Oh, because um, I like that song and I sing about um, cut out all the bits and put them on a piece of paper and put them on the fridge. Yeah. But that's to do with the um, organs, the body, yeah. in, internal organs. Um does he put them on his mantelpiece? No. I'm intrigued as anyone else would know this. That would be, be because interesting to see. I happen to know that some of them barely listen to <laughs> songs. Uh, what? Did you not hear someone say that the other day? No way. I heard someone say it. I won't say who it is right now. What is the... Why am I even doing this? Right. Are you going to got any other guesses? Because that's not correct. Oh, I feel like I've upset you now. In the fridge... No. The protagonist leave the hands and feet of his beloved on the back seat of his car. Oh. Now, I could still give you a bonus point here. Can you remember what car it was? Uh, Prius. 
Oh, so close. Punto. Fiat <laughs> <laughs> Punto. Yeah. Okay. Right. See if you can get this. I think you might have a better one with oh, this. These are tough. Question three. Well, you keep saying how easy all these quizzes are, so I just thought... But I'd these are like... Um, memory, memory, memory quizzes. But we've done... Th- there are 49 episodes prior to this one. Yeah, right. And these are, there's a lot to remember. I forgot we did Notions episodes. <laughs> wow. Question three. From our musicals episode. Right, okay. Name five people the postman was mistaken for in the song, I'm Just a Postman. Five. So let's count five. down. So there was the takeaway. One. The gas meter guy. Electric uh, meter. Two, yeah. Meter guy. Um... Uh, the dentist? No. <laughs> God's sake. Um, right. And it was also the boiler man. Yep, yeah, I'll accept that. Um, the... Oh, wasn't it one of them? One of them wasn't like your family member, like your, um, your son. No. No, okay. That would have been good though, wouldn't it? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... The sale, a salesperson. Yep. One uh, more. Um, ah, this is painful. Um, also a fireman. No, but near. A uh, fireman. <laughs> Milkman. Yes, that's one. That wasn't what I was thinking was near. So that's five. What were you thinking it's near? Policeman. Oh. I'd have accept boiler man. Good milkman and fireman are very close to Doctor, in my head. Dog walker, gas man, takeaway man, milkman, salesman, policeman, tree feller, stamp distributor, sofa collection, or chiropodist. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of things in that song. There was a lot of things in that song. I was most of the other people. You certainly were. Question four. In the top-selling literary masterpiece, A Slightly Disappointing Day at the Seaside... Right, in the books episode. ...featured in our books episode, what did Colin find half of on his family's eventful day at the beach? Seagull. Yes, there yeah, you go. You remember nice that one, easy. don't you? And it was in the back of the car, and Betsy... Betty. Betty was there. Yeah. <clears throat> And she had a little accident, didn't she? Because she was uh, lacto intolerant and they had an ice cream. Ice cream, yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah, and I had to bleep it. (laughs) Yeah. Question five. What cream would our sponsor suggest you use if you had a Gary Barlow action figure stuck up your bum? Peterson's anus cream. Absolutely (laughs) correct. (laughs) Very early on, that one. It was very early on. That was the first advert. Question six. What reason did Maui give when he was asked why he spent so much time in your room with you? He gave two reasons. Um, so Maui said, uh, I went, why did you spend so much time in my room then? Uh, so I can smother you? No. No. Um... He wanted to know if I was... A, so he could annoy me, so he could bite me, so he could... No, I think you're... Stab me. I think you're talking about stabbing. I think there's some wild stabs in the dark here. Yep. Well, I can do a little bit of a Maui impression if you like. Oh, really? Yeah. Should we I, can't get him on, but we can get a Maui well, impression. I'll try it, yeah, yeah. So... You said he's, you like to spend a lot of time with me, don't you, Maui? And he said, yes, uh, I can't really do it, can I? You feel superior. Oh, yeah, feel superior. I am the smuttest person in the room. <laughs> yeah, that was it. There you go. Question seven. And you brought this up a bit earlier. On a stormy night in mid-June, a murder was committed at Hardington Manor <sighs> from our murder mystery episode. But who was revealed as the murderer? <laughs> um, it was um, S- Sergeant Major Overhaul. No. <laughs> Captain Colonel Sergeant Major Overhaul. No. It was him though, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. 
Was it? <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, because he wasn't actually um, in the army. Wasn't he? No. God, I can't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I put it was Lady Brittany. But why was it Lady Brittany? I can't remember. I thought I'm, it was her, I'm though. pretty sure it's Captain Sergeant Major Overhaul. Oh, right. Okay. I might have to go back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 99% sure it's Okay, right. Over. For, for a bonus point then. Because so he we wasn't don't know. in the army, was he? He was never in the armed forces. No, he was, he was never. Young. He, he, didn't, he didn't understand anything about it. He slipped up a number of times, especially when the pubes uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> ratted him out. Um, for the a bonus butler. point, what was the murder weapon? Um, it was a novelty sized pencil from the uh, Derwin Pencil Museum. Derwin Pencil Museum, did that? I didn't even ask you that bit. Well done. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I'd like to thank my mum. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Right. Question was eight. Was the pencil museum the correct one? Yeah. Oh, amazing. I can remember eight. at the time. In the episode in which we wax lyrical about superheroes, one of the tasks we set each other was to come up with a superhero name. But do you remember what my suggestions for you were? There was two. This is episode seven. I remember the episode oh, numbers. Me, well done. Thank you. Um, so superheroes. Uh, you wanted to call me Cap. Captain Puff. Puff. <laughs> what? <laughs> Captain Puff. Captain Puff. Captain Puff. But Puff. But no. Uh, such a major overhaul. <laughs> no. Um, that's really annoyed me. I can't believe I've misremembered that. Well, anyway, we don't know if you definitely have, but I'm pretty sure you have. It's a mystery. It's still a mystery, <laughs> even now. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out, it wasn't Sergeant Major Overhaul at all. Um, it was pubes. Um, there was, there's two that both are connected to a feature of yours. Oh, fur. Well. Hair. Fluff. Right. One, I called you Beard Boy. Beard Boy. But then... We thought it would be better to call you the beard, <laughs> like the Hulk. I right. can't believe you've forgotten that. Right, that was that was like uh, in March. These last two, maybe April. Okay, are more about March. The podcast overall. So, question nine: Although we follow a similar format on our podcast, each one is uniquely long. But from episode one to episode 49 inclusive, how many hours and minutes have we been waffling, have we been waffling on for? Waffling, waffling. Um, so majority of our episodes are under 60 minutes. There's a handful that are over 60 minutes. Approximately probably about five Maybe, maybe 10, 10 over 60 minutes. Wow, that Sp- jumped by specifically, a sp- Yep. Specifically, uh, 49 and 48. Were 48 was probably about 110 minutes, and I have, 49 was probably about an hour and 15. Um, so I'm going to go for 48 minutes, 48 hours and... 56 minutes higher 49 hours and 32 minutes higher 49 hours and 57 minutes lower (laughs) 49 hours and 48 minutes higher 49 hours and 51 minutes higher 49 hours and 52 minutes higher 49 hours and 53 minutes higher 49 hours and 54 minutes higher 49 hours and 55 minutes. Well done. First time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 49 hours and 55 minutes of this. That is like a lifetime. Well, it's actually just over two days. Yeah. <laughs> For bonus points, what episodes were the longest and shortest? Longest is this inclusive of 49. Yep. Okay. 49 was the longest. Which was? Uh, 2021 in review. Yep. But what was the shortest? shortest? The shortest one was an earlier one. By the way, that was an hour and 14 minutes. 
Oh, it's close with the hour and 15, though. Yeah. So what the was shortest the shortest one? Was, was 49 minutes. And that was... Um, oh, I don't know. Early on? Yeah. Is it within the first 10? Yep. Um, I want to say that it was animals. You want to say that? Yeah. Okay. Well, it was... Or no, it's space. Which is it going to be? Space. It was 46 minutes and it was space. Even with my sensational... Quiz about the moon. Quiz about the moon at the end. Right. And your final question. I'm probably better off with those kind of stats-based ones-ish. Oh, this is about stats. In a poll of all our listeners, we asked, who's your favourite, father or son? What was the percentage split? When you say all our listeners, did you just include yourself? It was an anonymous poll. Did you genuinely ask other people? I cannot divulge because it's anonymous because it, you know, I don't want people to, you to get the ump with other people. I'm not saying it fell on my side favourably, but I'm, I'm not saying that particularly. I'm just saying I don't want you to get upset about it. Right. If it, it was a hundred percent on you, wasn't it? No, no, no. 80% on you. A bit more than that. <laughs> 95% on you. No, uh, 89% of people said I was their favourite. Who it- did you ask? <laughs> you didn't ask anyone. 11%. That's something to work on. But you though. know what? There's someone that said that someone in your head has said that they preferred me to you in your head. Prefer you to me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I see what you mean. So you've actually <laughs> chosen, what you've it. chosen me with one of your imaginary people as chosen me. But I still me. wasn't a hundred percent. That's self doubt. Oh dear. Right. <laughs> well, well done. No, that was that was obviously tougher than you thought it was going to be. Yeah. Because <laughs> you made up stats. <laughs> I didn't make it. That was the only. No, I didn't. No. Look, Who did you ask them? The last one. Yeah, I made it up, Connor. Sorry. Right. It was 85. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, whatever. Right, but there was like everything else was accurate apart from the murder mystery one, which I, I don't know. I'm going to have to look I back I was about it. to try and Google it, but that won't work, will no, it? No, because we're not, no. Okay, no, well done. No, 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 no. Well done. So we'll be back to the normal sort of quizzes <laughs> next week. But uh, which the, the, I just the thought I'd we see, had not planned at all yet. Let's see, you know, it will be interesting across all of our particular podcasts if I picked a few things out. If you genuinely want to involve yourself in the poll, why not send us a message? <laughs> no, yeah, I don't know. That, you know, it could go very wrong for either of us or both of us. That's very true. Actually, well, if you want to do that, I've got no problem with them. Okay. Talking of people corresponding with us, have we got any correspondence? Yes, we do. Have we? Yeah. Have a guess who it's from. Oh. It's not that penguin again, is it? Yeah, it's Al. I've been listening to Al. Oh, for God's sake. So, you're going to love this because I get the feeling he's a, he's a fan of puns. He's written seal of approval, oh. as in the animal. Oh, my God. Um, it may be hang on. Banging into the it's mic really now. strange, this one. Uh, it says, hi, David. Oh. Seems to be addressed to you. Specifically to me. Um, avid listener here. Yeah. I couldn't find a personal email address, so I have to resort to contact you through the website. Right. Okay. Uh, now that you've uh, had some time to sit on it, what are your thoughts about getting Al involved in the podcast? <laughs> These messages are starting to feel like I have to resort to begging and sending in messages. It was like the only way that I will ever feature on an episode. I've even written my introduction. Uh, feel free to read it out at the start of your next episode so that I get to feature on the episode too. Uh, and it, he's written the intro. Hi, avid listener here, also known as Al. I'm a penguin from Belgium. Thought I would chip in with a fun fact about my species. Believe it or not, we consider media superstars. We have been immortalised in Mary Poppins, as well as have a brand of books and biscuits named after us. So to find out on 
our podcast, episode 49, 49 Undefeated, uh, that seals are trying oh. to get in on the biscuit market is slightly infuriating. In what uh, way can I help penguins reestablish a dominance? A podcast? Let me know. Forever listening. Ow. Not to be confused with Audi. Wow. There, there's so much information in there. I've got so many questions. Belgium? <laughs> yeah, he's Belgian. Is he? Yeah. Right. He's okay. the Belgian penguin. We discussed this. Yeah, okay. Right, fair he's enough. He's a rock copper Belgian penguin. Oh, right, okay. Um, look, it, so that's his... I it, feel like he might have been involved in this podcast. Yeah? Yeah. As he sent in a message. Yeah. Oh, right. Don't know if you've noticed those throughout the podcast, but there's been messages Oh, wait, up. it was him, wasn't it? Yeah. That's yeah. why I'm questioning whether he was from Belgium or not. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Um, well, look, he, he, he's. I don't want. I don't like to think of anybody pleading, um, because it's quite sad. <laughs> but um, and and the constant, constant banging on about forty nine, <laughs> forty nine. For God's sake, give it a rest. He's been waiting for forty nine episodes to say that. Is he right? Okay. Well, let him have that one then. Look. I'm sure he will get involved. He's already involved. He he takes up quite a lot of our our uh, time on these podcasts. He does. Um, in fact, that was my eleventh question. <laughs> How many <laughs> minutes do we talk about Al? No. So you know, I, I I imagine we'll hear a lot more from him as we go on with these. But um, I'm I'm sort of really encouraged by his enthusiasm, and I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> Um, and if you want his actual email address, <laughs> no, we're not doing that. No. Um, but that was the correspondence we had received this week. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Al, for sending in that message. Very much appreciate it. Um, if you aren't aware, you can send in your own message to us. Yeah. And that can be done on fatherandsundays.com. That's our website, by the way. Yep. And if you go on to fatherandsundays.com and then go on to the contact section and you can leave a message on there as well. And it even notes down whether you'd like to be reading that on the podcast as well because sometimes people would just like to send a message you don't actually want it read out. But also you can leave comments, suggestions, questions, um, uh, a, a poem if you want to write a poem. Uh, can you think of anything else someone might want to do? No, do whatever. You could I make want. up a rude picture out of uh, punctuation. Um, yeah, but try not to put any rude words in there because we won't be able to read those. Well, you will be able to read them, but just have to bleep them out as well because that's one of my favourite things. In fact, if we'd have got go back now and say some of the things, real highlights for me, it's making you have to bleep out. It's that time that uh, you did it it on purpose, yeah, and I got angry with you. (laughs) You did, yeah, you did get angry with me, which made it even funnier. Um, but yeah, you can do that on the website. You can also listen to the podcast on the website. But there's also links to all the different platforms because we are pretty much on every podcast platform uh, there. So that's a great way of doing it. And also, you can leave reviews on podcast platforms. Did you know, Dad, you can leave a review on Spotify? I did know that. Is and it because I told you a couple of like, yes, weeks ago? Yes, you told me the other day. Yeah, I'm surprised you don't remember. <laughs> yeah. um, so you can leave a review on there and that would be really helpful because you could... Uh, five stars, ideally. But do what you want. mm it's your life you know but yeah you can leave a review and that helps things be discoverable by other people uh you can share the podcast you can go to our facebook page twitter us, instagram they, yeah. yeah like and follow uh but you can share the page you can uh just tell your nan about us yeah or your mum um my mum doesn't listen but your mum might yeah your mum does my mum does yeah um but yeah tell your um, dogs aren't yeah tell like everyone that. yes absolutely uh, and yeah okay is that it then um yeah I can't believe we've made it a 50 uh, wow you said that at the end of the episode normally we say it at the beginning I know I know that's that's the way this one's gone I've got a couple of things I'd just like to put out there actually because what after I've read all that yeah no that's fine because <laughs> I I don't know if I imagined it, but I I walked past the what's the thing we've got in our kitchen with the screen on it? Fridge. No, not microwave. No. Oh, the echo. The echo. Right. I walked past that, and it flashed up. World's fastest lemon cake. Right. 
Interesting. Can, if anybody <laughs> out there saw that or that's popped up on their echo, because I, I looked at it and before I had a chance to ask the question, because um, I can't understand why a lemon cake would need to be fast. <laughs> so if anybody out there has seen that or knows the answer to that, can they just let us know? Also, right, I saw that there was an ultra rare heart shaped crisp selling for £250 on eBay, right? One, Question out there for anybody who wants to answer it. Did it sell? Two, did it end up selling for 250 quid or more? And three, I couldn't see it anywhere on there what flavour it was. And I'm interested in that as well. <laughs> okay. So if you don't have any other comments or questions for us to put on the website, uh, could you at least answer those for us, please? If you could, please, because it's really starting to worry me about yeah, the overflows um, now. I'm laying we away at definitely night. need someone to respond and send in the answers to that, please. Yep. Um, do you remember when we had to make up our own things to say? I don't know what podcast? you're talking what? about. What? <laughs> I don't know what you're chatting about. No. All right. Are we done now? Yes, we have. I think we've established you don't remember anything about any of the uh, podcasts anyway. So in how fairness, would you remember that we in made In fairness, up? you didn't even... <laughs> no, well, fair enough, but I'm old. Did you have to listen I'm back near, to those I'm things? I'm only a little bit older than this podcast. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you for listening for 50 episodes, everyone. Yes, thank if you. you have. Thank you for the positive comments we have got. Um, I had a spasm there, sorry. You did have a spasm there. <laughs> Here's to another 50 spasm, because <laughs> that was quite entertaining. Yeah. Um, no, it has been enjoyable, um, and I'm looking forward to doing more of them. And actually, especially to the people who have genuinely listened, like even if it's family. like Yeah, family, uh, um, friends, and those people that we don't know at all that, you know, the... And that person that drove past in the car and had it on their car. you don't know at all. I don't know them And all at the people all. have commented on your beanie. And all the people have commented on my hat, which is great. And in fact, he seems to be getting people to listen to it a little bit more. So who'd have known? We'd have worn the hats from the very beginning if we'd have known that. Okay. Anyway. All right, then. Bye-bye for now. Bye. I was wrong. It wasn't Lady Brittany who committed the murder. It was Sergeant Major Overhaul or whatever his name was. So my apologies. Told you.